Hi, Max here from Cybert Media and these are the Google Workspace updates from September 2021. Understand how you're spending your time in Google Calendar. With the new Time Insights in Google Calendar, you can see in the web version how much time you spend in meetings, with how many participants and with whom you spend the most time. Share where you're working from in Google Calendar. Announced last month as a preview, it is now ready. You can now define in Google Calendar on which days you work from home, in the office or on the road. You can also flexibly adjust these settings for each day, a feature that is likely to become more and more important with increasing hybrid work. Chat with meeting participants from a Google Calendar event. For some time now, the people with whom you are about to have a meeting automatically appear at the top of Google Chat as a suggested chat group. In addition, you will now find a chat button in the calendar in the appointments, which also opens a group chat with the participants, if you want to coordinate quickly in the chat. Note that this only works for internal participants, that means colleagues. Find and share GIFs in Google Chat. Until now, GIFs or animated images could only be shared via the Upload or Giphy bot in Google Chat. Now Google Chat has added its own button to search for GIFs directly and insert them into the chat. That makes chatting even more fun. Google Chat Rooms are now Spaces. Google renames the chat rooms in Google Chat and in the Gmail chat integration to Spaces. From Google's point of view, this should make it clearer that people not only chat in these areas, but can now also work directly together on documents and tasks via the various integrations. Protect Google Chat data sharing between Google Workspace and personal account on iOS. A few weeks ago, Google already introduced the same security feature for the Meet app. And now you can also ensure in Google Chat that no data is exchanged between your Workspace and private Google account. Update to the newest version of the Google Chat app. Google Chat, as you can see from the last months, has received some updates and a new technical base. So Google has redeveloped the progressive web app. Users of this installed app will now see a notice when they open it that they need to install a new version. Mute all Google Meet participants at once on iOS. In the web version of Google Meet, Meet hosts can already mute all participants of a Meet at once. This now also works in the iOS app. The Android version will soon have the same feature. Replying to comments in Google Docs with Smart Reply. In comments in Google Docs, so-called Smart Replies are now available, just like in Gmail for example. These are reply suggestions that you can accept with one click and thus save time. New logo coming to Google Tasks. No new features in September, but a new logo for the Google Tasks app. This should make tasks look more familiar to the other Google Workspace apps, which have already received a new logo. Improved search in Gmail on Android. The search in the Gmail Android app has received some updates. For example, some handy dropdowns are now available for direct filtering. Restore a page via version history in Google Sites. You already know it from Google documents like Docs and Sheets, and now you can also restore old page versions in Google Sites via the version history. Progress is automatically saved as you respond to forms and quizzes. Google Forms can be used to create a wide variety of forms, surveys and quizzes very quickly and easily. Especially with longer versions, it can happen that something gets in the way of the recipient filling out the form. Until now, when closing the form, you had to start over again the next time. Now, forms remember the already filled out status up to 30 days or until the form is sent, if you start filling out the form with a logged in Google account. So far the September updates, see you in the months.